This is going about 15 or 16 miles per hour. And splash down. Some very cool out-of-this-world video for you. That was the moment three NASA astronauts and one Russian cosmonaut splashed down to Earth just a few hours ago. SpaceX team snatched a crew out of the Dragon capsule and out of the waters just off the coast of Pensacola, Florida. It marked the end of a mission that had lasted almost a year. Derek Pitts is the chief astronomer and planetarium director for the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia, and he joins me now to talk about it. Derek, great to see you, my friend. Uh, so what's the latest the crew members? How are they doing? Thanks very much, Vlad. Uh, the crew members are doing very well. There was a precautionary stop at a medical center along the way back from the landing zone back to Houston, Texas. And we always have to remember that astronauts coming back from space, especially for a mission of this duration or longer, 235 days, 100 million miles uh, orbiting the Earth, has an effect on the human body. So returning to Earth, coming back to 1G, Sometimes it takes a little bit for the body to reacclimate just after they get out of the spacecraft. So out of an abundance of caution, they all went to the medical facility just for some extra checks. But things seem to be fine otherwise. Okay. Uh, let me ask you about uh, what the mission was and were they able to accomplish it? Yes, they were able to accomplish the mission. You know, the work that's done by each of these crews that goes up to International Space Station is to forward the development of techniques and technologies that are going to enable uh, future exploration of the solar system, such as the Artemis mission going back to the moon and going on to Mars in the not too distant future. And so the work that goes on on board International Space Station is all toward that. So this crew is doing a lot of different experiments on the human body, trying to figure out how the body reacts to the microgravity environment and to being in space so long. And they check various things about the body, whether it's vision or blood pressure or cardiovascular system, muscle, muscle, muscle development or muscle deterioration and bone deterioration, things like that are all on the list to be checked to better understand what the environment's like. So, um, it, and is, did I read correctly, Derek, that this mission was supposed to have happened or this landing was supposed to have happened last month? It was. It was actually supposed to happen two months ago, Vlad, but a couple of things got in the way. Number one, there was the problem that, uh, that was discovered with the Boeing Starliner thrusters that uh, caused a bit of a delay in the return of these astronauts. But also, the most recent hurricanes in October in Florida also hampered their return to Earth. So they were stuck on board space station. I really shouldn't say stuck because astronauts really enjoy being at space station to have this opportunity to be in space. They had a bonus two months in space actually before they returned today. Very, very cool. Uh, Derek Pitts, always very cool to talk with you as well. Thank you, friend.